The Yellow Stork, a Chinese folk tale. Once upon a time, there lived a poor musician in China named Mi. Mi was so poor that he couldn't even afford to buy a cup of tea. Mi would probably have starved to death if not for the kindness of the host of the tea house, who, feeling sorry for Mi, had given him food and drink for free. After he had finished eating, Mi came to the host and said, "I must go now. I have no money to pay for all I drank and ate here, but I don't want to be ungrateful. So I will give you this." With these words, Mi took a piece of yellow chalk from his pocket and drew a yellow stork on the wall of the tea house. "This stork," the young musician said, "will bring you ten times more money than I owe you." Every time when people gather in the tea house and clap their hands three times, the stork will come out from the wall and dance. But remember, don't ever force the stork to dance for only one person. Now farewell. And with that, me turned and left. The host was surprised, though he decided to give it a try. And the next day, when many people were gathered in the tea house, he asked everyone to clap their hands three times. Immediately, the stork came down from the wall and danced a few hilarious and funny dances. After that, he jumped back onto the wall. The guests were delighted. They marvelled, exclaimed, and could not believe their eyes. And so it was, time after time. The rumor of this miracle spread throughout the entire country, and soon the tea house became the most popular place in the town because everyone wished to see this wonder with their own eyes. Crowds of people came to the tea house every day, and the host began to grow quite wealthy. Mee's promise. Had come true. One day, it happened so that a wealthy official, the Mandarin, heard about this wonderful stork. He immediately commanded his servants to take him to see this marvel. When he entered the tea house, he saw that it was filled with peasants and artisans, and they were taking up all of the seats. The Mandarin became angry. And ordered his servants to expel all of them. The servants drove all of the peasants and artisans out of the tea house with sticks, and the Mandarin was left alone. He laid out a huge pile of money in front of the host and demanded to be shown the dancing stork. When the host saw the money, he forgot everything that Mi had told him. He clapped his hands three times, and the stork came reluctantly out from the wall, and then danced lazily only one time. Then he shuffled back and turned again into the picture on the wall. The Mandarin was shouting, threatening, throwing money, and clapping his hands furiously, but he could not do anything. The stork did not even budge. A little bit later, when the tea house had closed for the night, there was a knock on the door. The host came to open the door and saw the young musician Mi, who was standing silently. Then the young musician took a small flute out from his pocket, played a short tune, and turned and walked away. The stork heard the music and immediately jumped from the wall, hurrying after him. No one ever saw me or his magic yellow stork again, and ever since then there came the belief that if a miracle appears somewhere, it must belong to everyone. As soon as one person owns it, it will disappear forever. The end.